This is a new one. This is called the Spunking Shelter. David Foster died in his sleep. David Foster died in his sleep. And we only knew each other from the miserable weather under which we shared the smoking shelter. We smoked the same brand and as we both rolled our own, there were two pairs of hands stained with the same disgusting brown and yellow tan. He used to carry around a psychotropic pillbox the size of a small flat screen TV and he said he'd seen it in the news all these anti-psychotics are killing people and this was on the BBC David Foster died in his sleep David Foster died in his sleep. I drop in, I drop out of all these mental ill health centers and it only reminds me of being a child once you are cut loose from the placenta. You start getting invited round to the other kids' houses for birthday parties, etc. And even though I was probably just as likable as everyone else there, all I'd want to do was hide under a chair. David Foster died in his sleep. David Foster died in his sleep. We used to sit there and compare the thickness of our weatherproof coats. Mine was warmer than his, but it's the thickness of the skin that matters the most. At least he had been in the army. When he was young, he knew how to fight. And he was still alive last November. And I remember we were discussing bonfire nights, how they always bombed him out, all these fireworks flying around outside his bungalow, reminding him of his days in Ireland which were not that long ago. And he'd say, after the army, you'll never have mates like that again. And then I'd say, you know, every night I go to bed before 8 p.m. It's a depression thing. Then he'd go, you are right, and I am the same. I watch the news, I watch the one show, 
I watch EastEnders, which makes a night for me. And that's where his death was predicted, right there on the BBC. David Foster died in his sleep. David Foster died in his sleep. But before he did, he gave me this story, which I am happy to keep. Thank you.